Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm going to do a taste test on this grain-free granola. It's from Paleo Nola Granola, with, uh, and the flavor is chocolate fix. So this one, I saw it in Whole Foods when we went to go grab some of Lily's chocolate, and um, my wife, Meg, was craving some granola, so we checked, we decided to buy this, check it out. Now, one serving of this is a quarter cup. So this is a half a cup right here, so half of this, which isn't much. And that's 170 calories, which seems high to me. 15 grams of fat, seven grams carbs, but two of them fiber. It does have three grams of additional sugar, so a total of four grams of sugar. And it has four grams of protein. Now, I was wondering what the ingredients would be for, uh, for a keto-friendly granola. And it turns out that it's almonds, pecans, pepitas, honey, and it says organic honey. So I guess that's where the sugar comes from. Walnuts, coconut oil, sunflower seed, hazelnuts, flax seeds, cacao powder, sweetened dried cranberries. So basically it's a bunch of nuts. And I am curious to see uh, how good it is. Now because it has five grams net carbs, that means one of these right here is 10 grams. And it seems kind of high. So I'm going to try it by itself, but then I also want to mix it with some yogurt because that's how most people eat granola anyways. And I got the Costco uh, Kirkland or, or Organic Greek Yogurt. And this one is for two thirds of a cup, that's 100 calories, seven grams of carbs, and 18 grams of protein. So if I'm eating half a cup of this, with a half a cup of the yogurt, that's somewhere around 13 grams of net carbs. Uh, that might be a little high if you're somebody like me, you're trying to keep it under 20 grams, but um, it's a lot better than, you know, 50 grams is just the one like regular granola and yogurt normally have. All right, so let me start out with the granola. Mm. It smells really good. It smells almost like a churro mix. So I'm going to try this by itself first. So it has big clusters of uh, nuts together. I can see the almonds, I can see the sunflower seeds. It looks like some kind of a coconut shaving or something. It's nice and soft. I do taste a little of the sweetness. Now remember, if you don't know the difference between keto and paleo, Paleo allows honey or anything that's natural, where keto doesn't. Uh, so this isn't necessarily keto friendly, but it's low carb, uh, or at least lower than what the standard is. So uh, if you're ever kind of running out of uh, ideas for keto snacks, check out some of the paleo products and uh, you might be able to find something that's close to what the keto diet kind of requires. So by itself, it tastes good. You can taste a little bit of the bitterness from the cocoa powder. All right, so the room got kind of dark, so uh, I added one of my lights. All right, so that's the granola. Let me try. I already know how the yogurt tries. I already know how the yogurt tastes. So I'm gonna add a little bit on here. All right, so it's very tart. I do add strawberries to it or anything that's kind of... Esta es la Solo está haciendo el ruido por hacer ruido o qué? Okay. I do, I... Mira, está saliendo. Siéntate bien, por favor. But now that we have this granola, uh, it's going to be another option that we have. So we'll see. Let's, let me try it together. It's not my favorite. It seems like the granola doesn't have enough flavor to make up for the tartness of the uh, syrup of the uh, yogurt. It's not great. I think it's uh, better with strawberries and blueberries, especially because it's not really that low on carbs. But if you have cravings for granola and yogurt, uh, this is a pretty close keto-friendly option. So that's it. I don't know if I recommend it, just because it's not my cup of tea, but it might help you stick to keto, so if it does that, then I recommend it. 
for that reason. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I have a bunch of videos coming up. Also hit that bell so you get notified when new videos pop up. And I really appreciate you guys watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Get la cosa con.